Diane Carson is owner of the Electric Quilter Long Arm Custom Quilting, which she started in 1999. Diane of Exeter is a winner of the Best Machine Workmanship Ribbon in the World Quilt Competition. She has quilted more than 3,000 quilts for her clients, and her beautiful work has received many awards in Canada and the United States. The Conservation Dinner Committee is honored to announce that Diane is the 2022 Feature Artist. She is the first quilter to receive this recognition. Congratulations, Diane. I sewed it together, a technique called paper piecing, and it took, you know, a month <laughs> before I got the top done, and then the quilting was all my design. I put on the thread work and the design uh, with my thoughts in it. Um, in our profession, we, we call it fiber art, and there are a distinction between quilts. There are fiber artists, and there are art quilters, and there are uh, quilt piecers, and modern art and traditional. My husband helps uh, lug quilts. If I go to do a trunk show or set up quilts, sometimes at a quilt show, he'll come and help take down and he's quite supportive. And I don't call myself an artist, I call myself a quiltist because it's the quilting that is my design. The um, top of the quilt is someone else's design usually. I have a topper and that's a person that puts the quilts together and we call them toppers and I work with one in particular Ann Bowden and when we uh, find a beautiful quilt we enter it in shows and together we've won several in, at Quilt Canada this year that will be in Vancouver it's been in Ottawa and London and Halifax and my motto respect the piecing means I go along this piecing and make sure it's all tacked down rather than um, doing a design over it all and and not highlighting the, the piecer's work. Where a person brings a, a quilt in, I know where they've sewn and I try and stitch on those lines instead of covering those lines up. And the person I work with, Anne, um, makes a lot of very intricate quilts um, with pieces as small as half inch and so they take very long to quilt and do the design so it doesn't take over from the piecing that, which is the show part but I try and add something to make it more show worthy with the quilting. Uh, this is best scrap quilt, a viewer's choice. Um, this was excellence in piecing, uh, judges choice, and then of course there's first, second, and third in categories. They're all at a quilt show, they're put into categories. This is a long arm quilting machine, and this is the quilt top that I'm going to quilt for a client who has put a lot of work into piecing this. There's little one inch pieces here. And I'm going to have to change um, thread colors so that the thread makes does not show over top of their piecing in particular. I want to show the quilting, but I don't want to show off more than the piecing shows off. If I were stitching on this I, on a straight line, I may have a ruler along here and I follow it. A lot of people put them in piles. They're quite colorful in a pile of quilts. Um, on the walls is very popular because uh, they're smaller and quicker to make. And a lot of people make lap quilts just to have on the couch to cuddle up in. Um, and of course, whenever there's a baby or a wedding, the quilters show up for with something they've made for that. There's like over 300 now long arm quilters in Ontario and we get together uh, twice a year, and I bring in teachers um, lately by Zoom, but uh, we will get together this fall in person. 
Um, I think Exeter can be very proud that they have such a thriving Lions Club in the community and the conservation dinner is one of their biggest uh, events and it's a lot of fun when we can have it in person. <laughs> and this club backs me. I'm the committee member for the uh, dog walk that's held every May and we'll be doing it again this May in person and uh, for go dog guides. But I enjoyed seeing what people bring in and then seeing their happy faces when they go home with it quilted. 